Every wakes up at 4 p.m. in the afternoon, and the first thing that he does is that he grabs his phone. He can't even move his arm. He can't even move his arm. He grabs his phone, opens up TikTok, and starts seeing ass pics and Joe Rogan podcast clips on TikTok. He starts to waste his life as soon as he wakes up. He doesn't do anything. After that, he goes jerk off. and plays video games all day plays fifa all day you don't want to be like jeffrey but on the other side we have adonis adonis is a productive chat he wakes up at 5 am every single day to get straight to work he gets good grades at school he's making 10000 dollars a month he's super jack he's super disciplined he's super productive he's super consistent why can't we all be like adonis When I was 14 years old, I used to be exactly like Jeffrey, like exactly like Jeffrey. I woke up at 3 p.m. every single day, and what I would do, I would grab my huge ass iPad and I would click the Instagram app. Like imagine you're lethargic as fuck as soon as you wake up, but you still grab your iPad, click on Instagram, and you use it all day. You use Instagram all day. You waste your time. You waste your energy. You waste your life on watching ass pics, women, half naked women, like what that random soccer player is doing, what hap, what is happening with Donald Trump, whatever. You're wasting your life. You're wasting your energy. You're wasting your time on all of that. I used to do the exact same thing. Then I would go. and i would jerk off all day and i would play fifa and call of duty all day that was that was what i did every single day that was my daily routine nobody wants to be like that but then i changed my life forever you know how i changed my life by implementing productive habits which i can stick to and do every single day and i'm here to teach them to you today but before we get to that i want to talk to you about something else By clicking the top link in the description down below, you can book a free call with me to fix your discipline, productivity, and consistency. And by clicking the second link in the description down below, you can subscribe to my daily email newsletter for more productivity insights, just like this, in your inbox every single day. So, if you're interested in that, click the check out the description. So, let's get straight to it. Habit number one: wake up early. I still remember that day. The first time I woke up early to get to work. I felt so good that day. I felt rejuvenated, full of energy. Because there is a certain power connected to waking up early. Like imagine you wake up early super energized, ready to conquer the day, ready to conquer the world. You're super energized, you're super productive. You're like, "Yeah, I'm going to work out today. I'm going to earn money today. I'm going to get good grades at school." You're super motivated. Motivated. You're super energized. I used to be exactly like that, and I'm exactly like this. That is what my day looks like. I wake up early in the morning, super energized, super productive, ready to conquer the day, ready to conquer any challenge that comes in front of me. And I want you to do do the same too, because there is a certain power, a certain aura connected to waking up early in the morning. because when you wake up early in the morning you have all this energy within you all this power within you and there are literally no distractions no one to distract you not your mom to distract you not your brother to distract you no one online on instagram to distract you so it's you and your grind and you can work effortlessly and seamlessly for how many hours you want i don't care without any distractions and that is when the real pro- productivity happens that is where you get this real results so start waking up early in the morning 5 am 6 am 7 am wake up around this time and i'm guaranteeing you that you are going to become that productive and disciplined chad moving on habit number 2 do the hardest thing first thing in the morning i'll tell you a story When I woke up at 5 a.m., I didn't know what to do, so I started with the easy tasks, like 
checking my email and go taking a shower. I used to be a pussy because of that. Like imagine you wake up early in the morning, you have all this energy, but then you think to yourself, no, I don't want to do that hard task. So you start doing easy tasks, checking your email, checking your phone, commenting on people's posts, checking your YouTube comments. I used to waste all of my time and all of my energy on that as soon as I woke up. But then I changed my life. You know how? By doing the hard shit as soon as I woke up. I literally just woke up, washed my face and did the hardest thing in the day, which was recording these YouTube videos. And I actually did this. You can actually check all my history. I actually did this. I woke up early in the morning and recorded those important YouTube videos. And I want you to do the same too. As soon as you wake up, do the hardest and most important task of the day first thing in the morning. Because again, you have all that energy, all that power within you, but you're wasting it on like needless shit. I see so many people nowadays, they can't even fucking think. They can't think. They have lost all their ability to think because of social media. Because we are in an active war against social media. Social media is destroying our society and we need to eliminate it. We need to raise awareness against it. Me and you, we have to gang up together to go against social media. Because social media is destroying lives. It's leading to people killing themselves. Social media is bad for society. You have to understand that. People were better before social media. It is a distraction. It makes people forget about themselves and focus on other people's life. Like who, what's Kim Kardashian doing? What's Justin Bieber doing? Who gives a fuck about that? Focus on yourself. Where is your life going? Fuck Chris Bumstead. Where is your life going? We have to go against social media because it is destroying our life and we have to do it for the betterment of ourselves and for the betterment of society. So gang up with me to go against social media because this is an active war. Now coming back. People have lost the ability to think. People are literally pussies. They let other people make decisions for themselves. They can't even make active, productive and proactive decisions for themselves. And I hate that about people. So many people nowadays, they're like, Oh, why are you doing all this productive shit? Because I want to genuinely improve my life. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I want to genuinely improve my life. If you want to genuinely improve your life, stop being a pussy and start to think about yourself. Start to think logically. Start to do the hard shit as soon as you wake up. Start to utilize your energy. Because once you do the hard shit with all of your energy, that is where the real results come from. That is where your effort leads to a lot of success, a lot of money, a lot of good grades, that good physique. Invest your energy into the hardest thing in the world, or the hardest thing in the day for you. So start doing that from now on. Do the hardest thing in the day, first thing in the morning as soon as you wake up moving on read books I still remember the first day I started to read like self-help books I picked up this book called the one thing and it genuinely changed my life forever I opened this book and I was actually interested in it I woke up late late at night and started reading the book because I was genuinely interested in what was written in the book And because of that, I changed a lot of my life. I changed my perspective on productivity forever. Because that is reading. Reading is changing perspectives, gaining new ideas and educating yourself. It is the best habit which I can recommend to you. Because it creates this chain of events which makes you even more productive. Because I have realized this myself. That when I read a book, I want to become even more productive. I want to make my day even more productive. The rest of the, the, rest of the day even more disciplined. I actually want to do that because I read a self-help book. So I definitely recommend you to implement this habit in your life. To start reading self-help books. Because they will genuinely change your life. They will make you that productive and disciplined child. So from now on, start at least reading two books every single month. That's it. That's such a small amount. Just start reading two books every single month. Two books which I will recommend to you right now to change your life forever is Discipline is Destiny by Ryan Holiday and The One Thing by Gary Keller and, the, and Jay Papasan. These two books alone will change your perspective and change your life forever. Now it is necessary to tell you that 
you don't have to mentally masturbate by just reading books and not implementing the things which are written inside it make the active decision to actually implement and take action on all the things which is written inside the book and i'm guaranteeing you that you are going to become productive and disciplined just because of that so start reading books from now on moving on learn something new every single day i recently started this habit and like imagine you you are making the active decision to make your future self better because when i started learning and learning these skills like marketing copywriting and how to use body language how to speak articulately a journey changed my life i felt this change inside me that i am making good improvement good steps towards my future towards a better future for myself and learning something every single day feels super good i don't care what you learn you can learn to backflip you can learn how to market your products you can learn about a business model you can learn something new you can learn something new about history i don't care what you learn just learn something new every single day because a man who doesn't learn is better off dead you see all these wise people around you all these intelligent people around you Iman Gaji, Hamza, Steve Jobs, Tim Cooks, all these stoic philosophers. What do they have in common? They actively invest in learning. They invest in their own learning. They have their own mentors. They read all these books. They take all these courses. Why? Because they want a better future for themselves. They want to make themselves better. And you have to do the same too. Make the active decision. to invest in your skills and learn something new every single day moving on the fifth and final habit that we're going to talk about to genuinely change your life forever and make you that productive and disciplined chat is working out i'll tell you a story i remember that day then i started to work out it was the summer of 2022 and summer break just started you know we all have this feeling inside me this spark inside me that we're going to do something exciting this summer break and i didn't know that yet but that summer break was going to change the trajectory of my life forever you know why because i started working out in that summer break and i st- didn't start with lifting heavy weights in the gym like i do right now i started with simple calisthenics push ups and all of that i just downloaded a random app on the app store and started doing the workouts and i felt super good about me I, i finally found something which i can progress towards which i can set goals for and two years from now from then i'm feeling super good about myself i'm really glad that my younger self took the active decision to actually start working out because i used to be super skinny and now i'm super jacked and i want the same results for you because once you start working out you have this feeling inside you this energy inside you to become disciplined and become productive and pursue hard things in life and i want the same for you because people are pussies nowadays they can't think for themselves they're super fat 130 kilograms people are so fat nowadays people are obese when i go outside i am guaranteeing you that i see a lot of obese people like especially where i live there like four out of five people are obese Four out of five people of grown men and women are obese. They're overweight, and you don't have to do that to yourself. That's why I'm telling you to start working out. Don't be a pussy. Think for yourself. You have to start working out from now on, because you have to make the active decision for your future self to improve yourself, to make positive change to your life. So start working out from now on. I don't care what you start with. Just start with some push-ups. just do 100 pushups every single day get a gym membership get a random workout plan off of google or youtube or something and start doing it just start working out and see how disciplined and productive you become now i know that the world isn't easy for men like us nowadays it's getting harder and harder every single day with distractions like social media and things like really bad food and all these chemicals inside the water inside the food they are actively poisoning us and i understand that life is hard for you 
but change is inevitable and you have to make positive changes to your life make positive changes to your life it's either a choice between bad and good do you want good changes in your life or bad changes for your life do you want to be a good example in society or a bad example in society do you want to help people out and improve people's life or do you want to not do that take the active decision for the side of good for your own betterment implement these habits in your daily routine and i'm guaranteeing you that you're going to become productive and disciplined from now on so do that make the active decision to change your life forever because i was in the same position as you but look at me now you can do the same too i'm rooting for you i'm supporting you every single step of the way start becoming productive and disciplined Click the first link in the description down below to book a free call with me and click the second link in the description down below to subscribe to my email newsletter. Thank you for watching and remember, action over words.